Hello everyone, today we're gonna rattle can paint uh, this car. So this is what I'm using, a uh, trim clad, which is uh, Rustoleum in the States, in the US. So, I have to do a little bit of prep work first, so let's get started on that. Now I'm only painting one panel at a time, so I'm gonna start with my hood. I uh, painted it with the roller last fall and it's got a little bit of lines in it so I'm not too pleased with that so I'm going to paint the hood today and we're going to see how that turns out and then I'll decide if I do the rest of the car. I'm very fortunate I've got a two car garage so I can work it's, they're forecasting some rain today so I can work even though it rains so I'm only doing one panel at a time. So I can drive the car uh, back and forth to work. So I'm going to move the Camaro out of the way and we'll get started. This type of rust here I found that comes from under the hood. So uh, we're going to put some uh, rubberized undercoating under the hood just to try and prevent that from coming back. It takes a long time for that to happen but I guess this car is 17 years old, it's 2007. So uh, that's had a lot of time to work. So we'll try and prevent that from popping through again. This type of uh, Scott Bright that I got at Walmart can go a long way into uh, scuffing up your paint so your paint adheres. So I've got my Bondo handy. I'm going to start on the prep work now. It's about 9 a.m. now. I'm going to tell you uh, how long it takes to do the hood that we can gauge if you want to uh, attempt this. Also, I thought it was important to say that I bought uh, this handle because uh, my little finger gets tired uh, when I'm spray painting. So I'll be using that for sure. So I did quite a bit of uh, prep work. I worked uh, two hours in the morning and then again a little bit at, at night. I'm going to uh, do a couple of coats of primer and I'll let that dry overnight. Well the primer looks pretty good. I'm gonna sand it with the, um, the scotch bright just to see uh, what that looks like. Especially what to see to see what it looks like when the car is finished. Finally, after all that prep, I'm ready to paint. So this dries to a uh, semi-gloss finish. So we'll see how it turns out. Even super shiny as I put it on. But I will need 
this to dry and then we'll see where we're at. Once it's dry, I can decide if I want to do the rest of the car or just stop it at the hood. So I will leave that to dry overnight and then maybe tomorrow morning I'll even be able to take the car in to work. That would be okay. This covers very well, though, uh, in terms of uh, the, co the color. This covers very well. So, I'm done with that. I'm actually really pleased with the way it came out. So I am gonna do the whole car that way.